Really good run. That is a pretty good run. That might be that might be the longest run. That ball is hit sharply, and that's going to do the damage. How about it? Keenan Maddox, a big two-out base hit, and already Missouri State has gotten what they couldn't get last night, a two-to-nothing lead. 70-mile-an-hour pitch and a 66-mile-an-hour swing speed. That's well below college average. How about that? Usually sure-handed Spencer Johnson on a slow roller, unable to make the play. The run scores on the E3. Mahon over to third, and Hockemeyer aboard. He comes unglued. And the freshman from Jackson Heights, New York, dumps it into right field. The round first, a third, and ran coming right to through score, the stop ran side. right through it and scored. Now the ball rattling around as Sheree unable to make the play and backing up Luke Voigt. So that worked out about as well as it could for Evansville, despite the fact that Chris Pearson ran right through a stop sign. Shanahan trying to get out of harm's way here in relief of Andy Sheree. Just missed him. So the go-ahead run scores on a basis loaded walk. Shanahan. That's gonna do it. Deep enough and left, Keenan Maddox is back. No chance on the fleet of foot. As Marski, better throw would have probably been to second base. And he got it. And that's it. Missouri State's season is done, and Evansville lives to play another day. And in the process, comes back to atone for that late loss in the opening round to Missouri State. So 4-2 is the final. Our next game Let's get to our player of the game. Could have gone with Josh Biggs, but we went offensively this time instead. Chris Pearson singled his last three times up there, scored a run. Also walked his quarter run the first, so he's on there four times today. The senior catcher from Evansville gets our Coventry Healthcare Player of the Game.